Welcome back to A Taste of K. I'm back with another video to show you how I make conch fritters. Now stay tuned. Here is the list of ingredients that I'll be using to make the conch fritters. In a mixing bowl, I add the conch that has been diced, epis, cayenne pepper, red pepper flakes, parsley flakes, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, one pack of bouillon powder, thyme, habanero pepper, which was diced, diced onions, diced bell peppers, diced green onions, diced celery, as well as salt. Once I've added all these ingredients, I'm going to stir until everything is well combined. I add one to one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, as well as some water, and I mix until I have a thick batter. If you get to a point where the batter is too thin, you can go ahead and add more flour. If it's too thick, add more water. When I'm done mixing, this is how it looks. I'll allow it to sit for about five minutes before I move on to the next step. Before moving to the next step, if you haven't liked the video, go ahead and do that now and also hit the subscribe button. I place oil in a frying pan. I have the temperature set to medium high. Once the oil is hot enough, I'll go ahead and scoop out some of the conch fritter batter and allow to fry until golden brown on both sides and the inside is completely cooked. This process took between eight to 12 minutes until the conch fritters were completely cooked.
When it is time to remove the conch fritters from the oil, I'll place it on paper towel to allow the excess oils to drain. Here is the finished product of the conch fritters. It is completely cooked inside and out. It has a nice golden brown color. There is definitely more conch than batter in this fritter. And it has a nice amount of kick but not overbearing. Thank you for stopping by A Taste of K here on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.